Howdy howdy y'all. So it's been a bit since I played this game and I figured and I just felt like a change of pace and obviously off screen I've played a lot of this game. So I'm essentially just giving myself 30 minutes and we'll just see how many puzzles I can do. Mainly just doing this to show off more of the game. And yeah, so anyways this is horizontal cross which means just using horizontal, I'm not going to explain any of the rules because, you know, you can do that yourself. Go find a demo, watch a video, but yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to, mainly the stuff that, you know, I'll explain if anything when I'm not speed running through puzzles is more complicated things like this. Since we have horizontal cross here, we know from normal Sudoku there has to be one up here, the one up here is gray, so the one in this block must be black, so I can just mark off both of those. And yeah. Uh, this is this might be enough actually to break this puzzle completely, but we will see. Okay, so now I have three here. So if I have one here, then there needs to be one in this group of three, which horizontals don't work with that, so I have to get that, and then I get this. And that actually solves the puzzle. Okay, so we have product group, and for product group and product horizontal, you can eliminate so many options, like... Yeah, just because since it's grouped, there has to be something adjacent to it, so a lot of the close ones just break. I do need to have a root 5, and I need to have a 3. 2 root 2 is smaller than 3, so that can't be one. I know one of these two has to be marked for the root 5, so I don't have that. Then I get this here for this root 2. I need to have a 2 there, but there was only one root 2 present, so I can determine it was actually 1 and 2 instead of 2 root 2s. One of these two needs to be marked, which means I have my one for that root two already. I already now have my one for this root two. And let's see. I need to have a three. This three is already gone, so this one's a three. And that solves that root two, which means I get these three. And, okay. I'm going to get both of those. One of these two needed to be a mine for uh, this group clue here. And one of these two is at least a mine for this root two, which means I already have my one mine for that root two. Okay. And this one can't be a mine, because it can't make its own group of four. Now, I need to have one more mine for this group, one mine for this group, and two for this group, which means I have one more group remaining of four. One of these two must be a mine, which means that no matter which one it is, this one and this one, neither of them can actually reach either of those two, so they can't be part of any remaining groups. For this root 10, if I had a one in either of these, I would either need to have a root 2 next or a 2 next to it, so the maximum product I could get is 2, which is less than root 10. Now then that means I need a root 2 and a root 5, so I'm going to get a root 2 here, a root 5 here, and I can't have a 2 because that's smaller than root 5. Now then, for this last group, if this one's not a mine, then it's just going to go straight into there. So that's going to be enough to, yeah, just solve the entire puzzle. Okay, we have product horizontal, so I can get that at the beginning. One of these two is going to go over to this side, giving me the one there, which means since I have a mine in one of those two, I can't have a mine in either of these. I already have a mine two away, so I can't have one that's one away, because then that would make the product two. And four needs to have that. Okay, uh, a lot of this is just going to be me solving parts of it that come naturally to me, because for two root five, the cutoff is, you're going to have a two and a root five for horizontal. Since if you had, if you had uh, anything like root 2, it, the next one would have to be at most root 5 away, which would mean you're going to get a uh, maximum of root 10, which is root 2 off of what you're actually looking for. So yeah, it's I've played enough of these now to, for a lot of the smaller numbers, be able to tell at a glance what I actually want. And I got the end there because that was down to one mine left. Uh, yeah, it's especially with four variants... It allows me to, for the demo, really just get good at finding the patterns quickly. Uh, I can only have two mines down here. If I start to, uh, with this mine, I can't make a group of four, so I'm going to get both of those. And let's see. I need to have two more groups. If I have a mine here, then I'm going to get uh, this, which breaks. So I'm going to get a mine here. That's solved to have one gray which solves that and that solves the puzzle so okay let's move on to the next one just using standard horizontal logic there and for a lot of this part it, yeah essentially it's just going to come down probably to standard horizontal tricks for most of it slash 
just looking to see if a cross has been solved. Okay, now that I've gotten all of that out of the way, I know one of these two has to be a mine here. One of these two has to be a mine, which also isn't that helpful. Uh, let's see. If this isn't a mine, then I'm going to get this pattern here, which breaks, because I would need to have both of these mines, which means both of those need to be mine. So I get a mine there, which means I can't have a mine here, because that would break horizontal. Uh, if I have a mine here, then this isn't a mine, and both of these are mines, which is going to overfill uh, that square. Therefore, I have a mine here, no mine here. Can't have a mine here because of horizontal, which is going to solve that. I can't have a mine there because of horizontal, and then I can solve that, and there's one mine left, so it can't be either of those. And there we go. For pro this product group, uh, let's see, this one might be actually a bit trickier. Although, if I start with a mine here, then this is going to have to be root 2, root 2, which breaks. So, actually, there's no mine there. One of these two must be marked, so I need to have a 1, 2 pair for that root 2. Can't have a mine here because the furthest away I could get would be 2, which would make the product too small. So I'm going to get all of this, and then I have a root 2 already, so I would, can't have anything close than 2 to it. Can't connect those because that would be a group of 5. If, the, if uh, this doesn't connect, then that's going to isolate this group here, so I get that. For the root 2, I can't have one there, I can't have one either of those for this. This is going to have to be a 1-5 pair, which is impossible, be or a root 5, root 5 pair. It can't be 1-5 because I already have multiple root 5 ways, so I get neither of those or this. For 2 root 5, can't have root 2, it has to be uh, 2 and a root 5, so I get that. Can solve the 2, then I just have one mine left, which has to be a root 2 away from, ten from root 10. For a horizontal, I can get that for the root 2. Uh, let's see. Can't have a mine here because then I would have a 1 and a root 2. Since I have a 1 here, one of these two at least has to be a mine, which means I have to have a root 2, root 2 pair because I can't have 1 times root 2. And let's see. Uh, if both of these were mines, both of these would be mines, which would break the root 2 product, so that must be a mine. One of these has to be mines. One of these two has to be mine, so one of these two has to be mine, which means neither of these can be the 1. For uh, 2 root 2, it's another thing you can just brute force, but it's always going to be root 2 and 2 for horizontal and for group for that matter. They both fall into the same uh, reasoning, and that's enough to solve the puzzle, so we'll just move on. Uh, let's see, another group cross. That can't be a mine because it couldn't leave. Uh, let's see. This can't be a mine for the same reason. And this can't be a mine for the same reason. Okay. Now, the, neither of these can be a mine for the same reason again. Of it won't be able to leave. Okay. Uh, and I, there's only one color that has three over there. Okay. I'm going to get mine there, which solves that. Now that's solved. Can't have a mine down here because it couldn't leave. I'm going to get a mine there. That group up there is not for large, so it's not possible. If I get a mine uh, here, then that's going to apply a mine down here, which breaks. So I get that, and that I think might be enough actually just to completely solve the puzzle. Yep. So now we go into horizontal cross. I'm going to have one there because that's the only black one, and that's going to solve that. Can't have a mine here because then it would need to go horizontally and it would break this one clue. If I have a mine here, then I need to have a black mine, which had to be here, but that's going to break horizontal. So I get that. Can't have a mine in either of those, so I get this. Um, okay, I need to have two more mines on this outside portion than this one, because there's a difference of two between those. So I'm going to get that. Let's see. Uh, can't have one there for the same reasoning. Over here, this is going to have, need to have three mines, has two outside, this has two mines, so it must have one outside, which means it can't be that one. Since I know there's a mine outside here, I know that the two must be the black color, so I can get that. And then I can solve all of this in yeah, standard way, and we're down to that many mines. Okay, for this one, if I have a mine here, since it's group, I need to have a mine adjacent to it, which would break the two. I get and that, and this, okay, 
and neither of these can be mines, and yeah. Accidental mouse clicking has once again skipped part of the puzzle for me, but whatever. <clears throat> uh, if I have a mine here, then I need to have a mine here, but that's going to break the group, so can't have that. It has to be a one. And one of the well, one of these two actually had to be a one already from that. Uh, one away from the two from this, anyways, so yeah. Okay. Uh. Um. Let's see. I need to have one mine here, so if I have something like this, then one, two, three, four, five. This one had to go here because I don't have enough mines to make a group up there, so I'll get this. And if I get these two connected, then theoretically, uh, let's see, does this actually make any noticeable change? Hmm, maybe not. Let's just try putting a mine up there. Then I'll get something like this, then, yeah, that's going to break it. Because I've already used six mines, and I can only use one more to connect up all of this. So. Okay, I get that. And then I can solve that. And there's the puzzle. Okay, for horizontal, I once again it has to be root two two for that. Can't have one here because then that would be a root two. Can't have one here because that would be a two. Can't have a two here because that would break it. Same thing over there. Both of those fives are solvable. Horizontal gives us all of that. And it's going to give us this and that. Okay, only one of these two can be a mine, because only one of those two can be a mine, so I get that, and both of these, and okay, if I have a, uh, if I have a pair of mines up here, obviously that breaks, because I need at least two mines to fill this area, and I know I need two mines to fill this area, so I'm going to accidentally misclick on the final thing, so we're just going to speed through the entire puzzle solve again just to get through it, because I just misclicked on literally the final tile, so I'm just going to mash my way through it, since I now know the entire solution path anyways. Yeah, and then I get none of this. This one has to be connected to a mine. There we go. Now we have group cross, so I'm going to get that. I might, after doing 25 of these, considering the time, switch to a different one, uh, switch to a generic variant. But yeah, I uh, can't have one going, or, well, I can't have both of these marked, actually, because then that would break that. So, okay, then I get this. Can't have one over here, because then to get out, it's going to cut off both of those. So, yep, yeah. and then one of these two has to be that. Okay. <clears throat> Get that, not that, and now then, if I have one here, then I'm going to get a pattern like this, which breaks uh, this 1-2 clue down here, and I know that if I have this one, it can't go straight down, because one of these two has to be a mine. So, I get that, which is going to be enough to solve the entire puzzle. There we go. Uh, horizontal. So, the horizontal ones can't, the four can't be the uh, grays, because then I would need at least two blacks for the horizontal, so there's that. And let's see, get that as well, and I can mark off that one from horizontal logic. Uh, if I have this one, this is a pretty common pattern, I get both of those which breaks, I must have that, which is going to give me all of this as well as that, and both of these. This honestly might be enough just to solve pretty much this entire puzzle. So now I have three left, I know that I can only have two in those two, so I must have at least one down here, but then I must have two down here, because horizontal, which solves that and gives me this. Okay. And let's see. If I have uh, just a root two, root two, that's going to break the two, therefore this one on the edge must be a one, Two, which means this one here now has to have one of these filled, so it must be a root 2, root 2. And I can't start it over here, because then I'd hit multiple 1s, which means I get that. Can't start it here, because then we go 1, root 2. Only one run There's only one root 2 left, so this 2 must actually be a 1, 2 pair. For the root 10, I can't have a 2. 
just for roots and you can't actually ever have a 2 multiply into it because there's no number that would uh, give you it back to root 10 from that that can be found on a grid like this. One of these two has to be marked which means I already have a 1 so I get that and then I already have a root 2 for this one for this 10 can't have a 1, can't have 2's which is going to solve that need to have one of these two being a root 5 uh, I can't get down to this corner actually because that would cost all of my remaining mines and I couldn't get either of those and that's enough to solve the puzzle okay this is product horizontal so I can get rid of all of those first uh, whoops get rid of this one this one has to be a mine for the root 2 component of that 2 root 2 get rid of all three of those mark those and let's see this is now I'm kind of getting in the groove I guess a little bit uh, I need to have a 2 and a 2 root 2, so I can't have this root 5, I need to have a 2 there. Okay, for that one I already have the 2, I need to have that, can't have that one there. And that's, yeah, enough to solve the puzzle. This is group cross, but yeah, I guess at this point it might be obvious that I've put way too much time into this game. Or, I guess enough time to where a lot of this stuff feels somewhat second nature, other than some of the more complicated ones can't have mines up here because then I couldn't reach that bottom group, so that one's not a mine. Uh, it could work from here though, so I can't rule that out yet. Um, okay. If... No, I can't actually rule this one out because then I would get that, so actually it can't reach. Okay. Uh, if I get... let's see... If I have a mine here, then I get a mine here as well. That's going to be completely fine. Can I... is there any... yeah, I can't have a mine here because then I would need to go up, which is going to close that off. And then I, this might be enough to completely solve it. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, let's see, horizontal cross. Need to have a mine here because otherwise these three would all need to be mines, but that would break the horizontal. I uh, can't have a mine here because I would have two on this edge and would need three on that side. So, yeah. Okay. Already have the black one of those. One of these two has to be the other mine for that one one. So I can get both of those marked. Can't have that one because I would need another mine next to it. And, okay. That's going to give me that entire area down here. Since I have one mine left, it must be adjacent to one that already exists. So I can get that. Uh, okay, yeah, a lot of this is stuff that I have, I ha I don't, I wouldn't say necessarily shown completely why it works in this video, but a lot of the deductions I'm currently making is stuff that I've just blanket statement said works, so, yeah, uh, let's see, if I have a mine here, then I have a mine here, and otherwise I get this pattern, the red pattern breaks because it breaks the group, which means I'm going to get this, and that mine over there. All the remaining mines must be connected to some group because I've already started four groups so at that this point I can mark off anything that's too far away from every group to be reached and the five has to be solved like root five root five. Okay let's see uh, this two can't have either of those being a mine associated with it. I'm gonna get that which means this is a root two root two solve and let's see, 5 also can't start like that, 4's always have to be 2 and 2 for both of the uh, combinations involving uh, whatever it is, product and uh, group or horizontal. There's probably some other ones where 4 doesn't necessarily need to be, at, um, there's actually almost certainly some in the full game, but just out of the ones that are currently present that uh, determination can be made for any of them really uh, for any ones that involve a product and that is part of what makes this uh, the demo stuff at least pretty quick to speed solve I suppose uh, if I get, let's see, if I have this one of mine then all three of these need to be a mine which breaks and I misclicked that one, so let's see actually why this works before I move on. Because I clicked that before I even knew this, so. Uh, 
Well, yeah, it's because this one needs to be a mine, so. So just get one, at least for black, so that's why that worked, but it would have been obvious from the zeros anyways, so I don't feel that bad about accidentally misclicking it and it working out for me. Okay. Uh, one of these two is a mine, so let's see. If both of these are mines, that breaks. So uh, this one has to be one of the two mines on this side. And I don't see a reason why either of these could be restricted as the other one, so let's get that done. Uh... I have all my four regions found, so anything that can't be reached by them I can mark off, which is good enough to solve it. Let's see. Uh, okay. Once again, like earlier, I can't have that marked because then I would need that. Uh, okay, which means I need two of the ones up here. I'm going to have uh, let's see. Um, okay. So I can't have either of these two marked because then I would need all three of these to be mines and that would break this one up here. So I can get that. And that's going to let me solve a lot of the puzzle and just other parts of it. So, yeah. That might have been honestly the only thing I needed to solve this puzzle. But we will see... Oh, yeah, no, that was everything. Okay. Uh, let's see. Product group. One of these two at least has to be a mine, so I'm going to get that. Can't have a mine here. Uh, well, for this is something somewhat new. Since this is root 2, root 2, I can only have... And I can only have one of these two and one of these two mines be filled. I know that both of these twos over here are actually one, two, with one of the two mines over there filled. So... Yeah. Okay. And fours are, for this case, always two and two. If I have a mine, uh, let's see, here, then this group can't reach it, but it also gets blocked off. So I can't have a mine there. Neither of those can be mines. Uh, if this one goes this way, then it blocks off both the twos. So that can't happen. I accidentally messed up. At the bottom, so we'll just go through everything I've already done, but essentially what happened there was I missed that the root 2 already had a root 2 next to it at the bottom, so I just marked it, which was incorrect. Yeah, this root 2, I missed this one up here, so I just marked that one, which obviously can't happen with this 2 here, because then I would have to go through a root 2. But, yeah, I don't want to have to redo this puzzle in the future, so... Mistakes happen, Just I just fix them right then and there. Uh, if this one's up, up here as a mine, I can't reach either of these, which would break the 1. And since this is a 6, it has to be a 3 and a 2. Pretty much because no other combination can work. Like, there's the only other thing you could try and do is something involving root 2s, but it just doesn't work. You would need to have a uh, root 2 and, like, a 3 root 2, but... The root 2 is always going to have something closer than that, so that's how you can determine it's uh, a 2 and a 3 for that. And that kind of logic is what gets you a lot of the smaller numbers. You can determine that it can only be really be one or two pairs of numbers. The larger ones, a lot of the time you actually have to do the math to determine which ones they are, but for smaller ones you don't really have to do that. Uh, one of these two has to be a mine due to this, so this two is automatically a root two. Root two pair, only one of these two can be a mine. So I'm going to get that and this, and that is enough to solve the puzzle. And I know I said I'll go for 30 minutes, but looking at the time, doing 25 of these is probably going to pretty much cover up enough time for me to not have a reason to do more of them. So I'm just going to go for the last few of these, and hopefully uh, this has been somewhat helpful, although I'm not sure particularly how helpful it is. is I feel like it might be just more or less me showing off how much time I've wasted at this game. Uh, this mine here breaks that, so can't have that. Uh, okay. If I go this way, then the this clue here is broken, so can't do that. And let's see, I have both my groups already found, so 
anything that's not close enough will automatically not be here. And this one here, I can't have either of these two grays because then I need a gray up there. And okay, uh, both of these are marked. Uh, one of these two down here has to be a mine to solve that. So, uh, okay. Most of this is pretty much just, I hope, pretty apparent logic, but yeah. And with that, uh, 25-ish minutes to solve 25 puzzles, so puzzle a minute, man. That's not that bad. So yeah, I guess I'll see y'all next time I post a video. So yeah, see ya.